what is going on guys fmu here and this is just going to be a real quick tutorial showing you how to download and install the in-game editor on fm16 so the game has gone live about half an hour 45 minutes earlier than expected which is pretty damn awesome so this is just like i say the simplest and easiest of things to do it really is so all you do is click on downloads like you just saw me do there and uh, it will go to the store and you you've got all sorts of things you can buy no sackings national land board override work no work permits sun generated uh, this generates sun into the squad of the club that you are managing you will unlock it automatically when you uh when uh, by having a player retire after 10 years of service to his team so you know there's plenty of things in there you can get but the one we are interested in is the in-game editor so you just click on it there it's 3 dollars to purchase and hit add to cart so uh item is already in cart oh yeah because mm, i've just been because i've just added it i was gonna say i haven't put it in there already uh so we go to the cart and you can see there in-game editor 3 dollars hit checkout and it will take you to the uh, the Steam transaction. So I need to add funds. So if you haven't done this already, depending on what your balance is, as you can see, my 2p. So just hit the add funds. And you can obviously you choose your amount. Obviously on the video, this is going to be blurred out for you. So you can't see my details. And then you hit continue and it asks you if you want to carry on and it will redirect you over to the paypal and just add your details in okay so once you've done that um over on the right hand side you can choose your card or you can add a new card or re, re uh redeem a voucher or, or whatever and then down the bottom there's a little thing that says agree and continue which you've sorted your payment details out and then that will bring you back here to your uh, confirmation and you know purchase review. You need to click I agree to the terms of the uh, Steam subscriber agreement. Hit purchase. Uh, da, 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 da. And then as long as you've got money, of course, in your account, it will do it. So thanks for your purchase. Your funds are available to use immediately. So then you click return to your transaction and you'll see there it pops up with the in-game editor 399 and I now have four pounds two P. Hit authorize and uh, purchase completed successfully. So hit OK, close your store down, and I don't think it's I don't know if it's going to be available. Let's just have a quick look. We'll load up a game and see if it shows up instantly and yes it does it pops up here look on your game already you can turn it off by going to your preferences and uh, inter interface there and it's on it's normally on this page somewhere uh, where is it I may be a little bit blind here. It's normally, oh, there it is, showing game editor on menu bar. So you can switch that off and then it will take it away. And next time you load the game up, it won't be there. But we're just gonna, we'll have a quick little look at um, a few bits and bobs. So if you click on a player, let's just, let's go to a player from our team first, Bradley Jordan. And you can do some cool things like you can start editing and then you can click on here and change those if that's what you wish to do um, what i tend to use it for is going in and um where's he gone where's he gone personal details and when i get regens with a bit stupid names or something like that i go in here and uh, i change their names around and going forwards in the game, sometimes what I like to do, because when regens come through, as far as I know, they don't have brothers or sisters. Uh, well, yeah, you know, sisters, I suppose. They could be staff, brothers, parents, and stuff like that going forward. So sometimes if we get two people with the same surname in my youth team, 
I like to make them relatives or something like that, just to keep that realism fact going in the game. Uh, I, you can also use it to change the name of your team's stadium. So if you get a new stadium and they just call it, say you're doing one with Doncaster and they call it the Doncaster Stadium, it's not the best, is it? Let's be honest, not the best of names. So you can just go into facilities, hit that, come in here and just put, you know, uh, I don't know, say you wanted to pretend it was sponsored by Nike, you could just call it the Nike Arena, whatever. Hit OK and it will save it. I'm not going to save this afterwards, so don't worry about it. But uh, just hit OK and you can see down when you um, refresh it should. Yep, change the name to Nike Arena. So there you go, guys. You can also go in. Uh, and edit your kit details you need to be careful though um, don't remove the kits because I did that last year on um, on FM15's uh, in-game editor and it wiped the kit completely um, I don't know what that was I don't know if it's a bit of a glitch or if I messed up somehow but you can go in and you can edit your kit so this could come in handy with your creator club uh, you can also create a third kit and so on and so forth but yeah there's a great few things that you can do with this little editor um that you know not all of us use it for cheating a lot of us use it for video purposes editing names and and stuff like that which is what i use it for and sometimes changing the kits up if you haven't got 3d kits and you fancy a little bit of a different look at the 3d match engine but anyway guys that's going to do it for now i'm going to let you go and enjoy fm16 the full proper release uh please hit the like button if you found this helpful and i will see you next time bon voyage <laughs>